was dropped from the ball's height that we dropped it from, right? That's the ratio. That is the rebound ratio. When we talk about rebound ratio, height or ball height over what? Over drop height. Drop height. Okay. Corey, what you got? A, what was the rebound ratio for the ball your team used? Keep breathing. B, did the height from which you dropped the ball affect this ratio? C, if you were to use the small ball again. Same. And, oh, the same ball again and drop it from the from any height, could you predict the rebound height? Explain how would you do this? Okay. These are the problems that we're doing today, 828 through 831. You guys, take a look at these bounciness ratios. Let's turn them into fractions. Or let's turn them into decimals. Let's go. What's this? You got a calculator? Stop trying to. And remember, with the TIs, I don't know if you guys know, how do you get a decimal from the TIs? Go to or, or shortcut. Do you know the shortcut? I don't know. Put a decimal at the end. You put the fraction in and put a decimal at the end. What you got for the first one? is 152 over 200, sweetie. You put a decimal at the end of it. So when you put the fraction in, put a decimal at the end of it, and the decimal will come out. I got 76 is 0.76. 0.76? Yeah, that's what I got, too. All right, what about 143.3 over 200? 
143.3 over 200. Do we still add that decimal even though there's zero? Oh, no, I don't think you're going to need to. It's zero. One, six, it's zero. Seven, point point seven what? One, six, one, six, five. All right, let's do 140 over 200. You guys should know this one. What about 145 over 200? Point what? Point seven two five. Okay. What about 72.5 over 100? Zero point seven two five. Point seven two five. It will look real similar, don't it? But it yeah. was instead of seventy two point five, it's point seven two five. What about eighty four over a hundred? Zero point eighty four. You guys should kind of know those, shouldn't you? Oh, it, it can be simplified. If you want to simplify. It. We got it. Oh. Now let's go. One twenty eight over one eighty. Two thirds. I need decimal, please. Oh. What about 134 over 190? 0 0.70. Okay, what do you notice, y'all? Um, they're all like, I mean, they all look pretty close. What is, tell me what you think about the average bouncy ratio. 7 to 10. 7 to 8. Is it really? But one of these things is not like the other. Now it's time to play our game. It's time to play our game. <laughs> Y'all don't remember that? Okay, look at these. <laughs> look at these. Which one is kind of not like the other? It'll probably be uh, the second one. I need the number, please. Uh, two. Right? Point eighty-four. This is seventy-six hundredths, seven hundred and sixteen thousandths. What does this round to if I'm doing one hundredths? Let's round them. Seventy-two hundredths. So this is seventy-six hundredths. This is seventy-two hundredths. What is this? Seventy hundredths. What about this? What does that round to? Seventy-three hundredths. What does this round to? Seventy-three. What is this round to? 8400. We're keeping it. Oh. What is this round to? I can't see that. 71 hundredths. What about this? 70. Now look at all of these. 76 hundredths, 72 hundredths, 70 hundredths, 73 hundredths, 73 hundredths, 84 hundredths, 71 hundredths, 70 hundredths. Which one is not so close? 84. What do you call it? Outlier. An outlier. When we're doing data, what do you do with an outlier? Ignore it. Yeah, I do. Miss Scott? Ignore outliers, though, because I don't like them. But either way, can we get an average bounciness ratio? Let's ignore this one. Let's do the average bounciness ratio. Come on. Um, <coughs> yeah, add them all up, and then divide by eight. Hurry up. I got 8.05. No way. Uh, I must have forgotten. Did you that do the average or did you just add them up? Oh, no, I forgot. I got to divide. Divide what? Two, three, eight, seven, eight. I got 1.00 divided by. I need you guys to think of 1.0 squared. I need you to think. Does that make sense? No, nah, not really. Okay, let's, let's get this done. I heard 63 point what? When I ask for average of stuff, what I need you guys to do before you start blurting out
not answer? Does it make sense to anybody? No. no. How can the average be 63 when I don't even have one? Uh, I mean, think about your answers, though, you guys. I got four. Because what, what's going on? What, what do you think is going on? I got User error in the calculator, yeah. question it wrong. It's okay, because I know what you did. You forgot decimals. What you got? I got 4.41125. Does that make sense for the average lady? Four point. This is weird. If I have an average of 78.16, y'all are y'all are missing something. What you got, Ethan? Zero point seventy three. Oh, so that's not, that makes sense. Uh, Six point five. Let's round it to hundreds, place bet. Hundred place, babe. That's hundred place. Seventy four. Seventy four. Seventy four hundred. Well, you guys, which one of these is the average? Three point seven four. Seventy four. Ethan, what you do? I uh, added all the decimals together mm -hmm. and divided by eight. You divided by eight? Why'd you pick eight? Eight point seven seven. Did you include eighty four hundred? Yes. Okay. So remember I said don't include 8400s, but you guys remember finding the average is what? Add them all up I didn't and divide that. by the number of decimals. Redo it, Ethan. Don't include 84. This one include and I, and I actually, wait, 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 let's, what did you get? 9? 9.76. 9.76. Is that the average? Yeah. So, did you divide? But I have a question. Since since there's since there's eight of them, but we're ignoring one, wouldn't we divide it by seven? I got. I get that, and I got um zero point seven two one four. Round it to the hundreds place, please. I keep getting four. I'm the worst. I got zero point seven two. Okay, so you guys, look at Ethan's. He included all the points and got 74 hundredths. Chiasia and Chris included all but this one and divided it, what do you guys divide by? Seven. Southern, why? Because you didn't include this one and got this. Are they real close? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So in this case, this outlier wasn't so bad. But what I want you guys to find out is this is your average bouncy rate. When we did um, second hour, look what they got. They got 7,400 for their average bouncy rate. About the same, right? Yeah. What is, why is that any use to us? This is what we're gonna discuss today. So now in your teams, I want you guys to answer questions A28, A29. We should have enough time to report out. You should be able to get at least through A30, but report outs are gonna be your pictures. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So this works. Okay, so yeah. So basically, the first question: We are you ready, Brian? Consider the work you did in lesson 8.1.2, in which you found the rebound ratio for a ball. A. What was the rebound ratio for the ball your team used? So. Um, so what was ours? Sure. Wasn't ours? Oh, she must be a sister. She's right here. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it 152 over 100 or 200? But that was just for the given height that the whole class did. But we also have to, should we consider the height that we chose to? So to, okay, so I'm about to add up the given height and then you know, somebody else can add up the height we chose.
Should we turn into um, points like we did up there to get a investment? So which one do we choose to do it on though? Because it asks what was the the rebound ratio for the ball we team. Our team used, but it's not saying which one. You know, use both. Yeah, it's just, it's just, no, we, we we got 84 for the first one. I mean, 155 for the first one. And 84 for the second one. So, you got sheet of energy paper I can use. Yeah. And you guys, I need your team sheets out because I'm coming around uh, Mark and Mark and Matt Okay. Hopefully you mark the uh, attendance recorder. Hopefully you mark your attendance today. Probably um, A28, today, Friday. Page 28, question A. So, A48, question A. So, our first um, rebound ratio was 152, and then our second one was 85. All right. Our rebound ratio would be our F, right? I the the Oh, so you guys get your uh uh then you get their portion of class points today. So the same one so any height would you predict this? So the one we chose to give height 200 was 152. That was the one we chose for the camera Yeah, you can get clipper. Remember when we did up there? Yeah. We're basically doing the same thing. We got we used 190 last time and 200. We could basically predict it to be in the same range because it wasn't that far off. If we would do three, three, uh, three different um, things, then I said we could really predict it. But just two, it would probably be harder. Yeah. So uh, overall, if you use the same method, we can probably predict it because we're mainly going through ranges. We can't pinpoint the exact number by eyeballing it. But if you were to drop it from somewhere like 210, you'll know it still stays somewhere from 40 to 50, 140, 150 range. So we can still predict some of it, but not all of it. You're just saying we can guess where it is, mostly based on people. The height and from past experience. Yeah, so we just take from this the ratios. Yeah. I got 31 over 40. What do you guys do? You guys don't see now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm still on feet, I guess. I'm going to go still. I'm going to go we don't wish you to be too late. The height for the reason that you don't want to wish you to be You drop it at one. You know who dropped it at eight. Yeah. The height from which you drop it for affects this ratio. Um. Which you said. Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out if they meant was it different from everybody else's. Yeah. They said you dropped it. 
We can all give our own opinion on that. Yeah, because we all give our own opinion. Yeah, because we all give our What you guys doing? Uh, we just got to explain it to other people that are trying to know how we got our uh, ratio. Okay. But then, yeah, um, we doing, did the height, from, wait, did the height from which you drop the ball affect the ratio? Did it affect the ratio? Yes. Talk to me. It um, affected it because, like, okay, so when we dropped it from the 200, and it fell, like, the the ball hit the bottom of it and it made it, like, like, like it made the bias of the ball, like, mess up a little bit. So, do you think your data was good? If it messed up? No. 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 So, look up on the board and look at all the ratios, right? What do you see? Even if the heights are different, what do you see with the decimal ratios? They're what? One five? Uh, so, now answer that question based on what we fix. Oh, excuse me, this question based on the board. What do you think? Um, it had it affected me by. Uh, I still can't get the right words out. So look at the heights. The 200, and what are the other heights? 180 and 140. Now, look at this. Did the height from which you dropped it affect the ratios? Yeah, because ours is, like, ours is like 140 and 150s, and theirs is like 120. Look at the decimals. No, it didn't. Why? Because all the numbers are still like close. They're close, right? So then, so there. Now, see, this is what we're trying to get. It didn't really affect. It kind of did, maybe. Yeah, but, but it's like it didn't change nothing. It didn't. It wasn't a big jump or nothing. Right. So no, it didn't. Um, right now we're on A29 part B. Right. Yeah. Oh. We just answered on um, A29. That's your picture? Why does that picture make sense? Like, you know when you bounce the ball, mm -hmm. and like the first bounce will be the highest, and then it just starts lower. And you say, um, After you release the ball. Yeah, and I say, yeah, your, your schedule shows minimum. Oh, 
It's a lot of bosses. Yeah. Okay. So, it, and team, you guys did this. What can you tell me about your bounces? Did you use your bounciness ratio approximately when you sketch? So, what do you think about the bounciness ratios? What was it close to? Overall ratios. Look at decimals. We got the average. What was your average? Our average. That average. Think about it in terms of like, what is 72.72? How much? We want the balance of three quarters of a dollar. So, it's going to come up how much? Almost at the top. How much? Close. How much? To the top. That's what the ratio is going to allow you to see. How much is it going to come? Think about it in terms of if you dropped a dollar, how much are you going to go buy? How much money is it going to buy? So if you drop it from two dollars to two dollars, how many? Okay, keep thinking about this. You guys, are, that and so when you're doing your picture, I want your picture to represent that. But yes, it does look like that. But now that it looks like this, I want you to take into account the actual amounts that it'll come up to. Okay. Yes. Work. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. 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 Work. Okay. Yeah. One second, Shay. Right? Okay. All right. This is what you can do. So, for the bomb. Okay. So, I don't know. So, you color yet? I just got the two tail bombs. What is the rebound ratio, y'all? Yeah. What is it? Yeah. What is it? I think it's ratio like the average. The average of what? So that's a exactly. And we can still get like we can predict like close around the ratio. We can't make an estimate. Yeah, but we probably not gonna get like dead on, but we can still like get pretty close. So I think I think I don't know. I think it's not. I think we could get close. But when we dropped it from hundred, it didn't say like yeah, so we can still get close. We probably won't get like. Well, we got from 200, kept getting different numbers. But what we put in that number? Um, and we, we can know, probably find a way. We can put like, it depends on the height. Yeah. So, I mean, so we'll play, yes, we can find like a pattern. This is like, if we got 0 0.78 from 100, and then we drop it from 200 the next time, maybe we, uh, like, maybe if we multiply that 0. Point, 78 by 2, we get around the, the next estimate. Because all we're doing is adding 100. So maybe. Yeah. So if we double the height from which we drop it, it should also double. Yeah. You no, know, it's not going to double. Wow. Or it would, it'll, it'll be like more, though. The only way we would be able to do this is if we was actually in the hallway. All right. Exactly. So we can't make a, we can make an estimate, we can't make a good right. Yeah, we can't make a, a clear one. So the answer is no. But we still can't make an estimate though. Ask us, can we make an estimate? So it would be yes, but it wouldn't be a clear one. It wouldn't be that good of one. But we can still make it. It's, it's possible to make one, but it wouldn't be that good. How about this? So basically, who thinks that we can't do the same estimate? Who thinks that we can't? What do you think? I can't vote. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Can, can we predict it or no? We can make originally, I didn't think we predict it, but now that I'm looking at our second estimate, and we got the same thing, you know, we got the same oh, thing all the time. Oh, yeah, we could probably. I don't oh. think that we can. Too. No, I'm saying, can we predict it? That one would look like so even then, but, but yeah. even then, on the first one, all three of these numbers are very close. Very close. close. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to say that puts us at a 50 50 split. Yeah. So now, we call Miss Scott over there. Miss Scott, she can help us. Uh, yeah.
like the job because you know, stuck for you here like an hour and But I think it depends on who dropped the ball too. Get it? I mean we all dropped it correctly at the right height. Why don't you drop this in the same room? No, I got that now. I don't know if that's the right answer or not. So, you don't know what's the right answer. You know what's the right answer. You know what's the right answer. Thank you. Remind him. Remind him some more. Tell him again. Tell. I need it. Scholar. Scholar. What I need. So now look at C. Answer the question for C. How your vacation already? You should be able to, right? But now, so what was your question? What's up? The Eight twenty-nine. Yeah, how are we gonna make the model? What's gonna happen when you bounce it and it bounces repeatedly? What's gonna happen? I mean, it's gonna be small. Are you sure? The uh, ball will bounce on your shoulder. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah, if you if you drop a ball and let it just bounce, it's gonna be shorter. 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 Do we know how much shorter? Yeah. 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 Did you guys do anything about bouncing this ratio? Do we do any bouncing in this You just did. How did you drop it? Did you slam it down? So when it comes back up, is it kind of like being... And then what? Do you know what the ratio is? Think about that. This question, we um, asked us, could we predict the next um, um, rebound height? Uh, so me and my kids think yeah, and they say no. Okay, tell me why. So we say yeah because basically, if we drop it from like a hundred mm -hmm. and we got zero point seventy eight, mm -hmm. and then we let's say we drop it from two hundred next time, I'm pretty sure there's some way to either like multiply or use some type of. What would you? What do you think you'll get? I'll say we'll get it like double it, so it'll probably be. I'm thinking double. It's not automatically gonna be double. I said no because one, the same person was dropping the ball every single time. Two, like I said, you got three different results for the first one. And three, like you, you can't really make a good estimate because you never know what can happen. Like I said, the ball could go on the wall. Yeah. This is my scholar here. Now let's do this right. You say the same person. Say a robot did it. It will end up getting the exact same. Same thing. So that's why we say if we do it the exact same way. Yeah. So the second run when we did our own height, we literally got the same all three, all three times. But for the first one it was different, but for the second one it was all three. So let's talk about theoretical versus reality. Theoretically, what's the answer? You could probably give, you could probably make a prediction, but it probably wouldn't be close. Theoretically, it could make a prediction. Because realistic, probably could. Because realistic, realism has too many variables. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the wall. It's too many factors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend. Theoretical. Because the averages, when we got the decimals, they were what? But very close. Not exactly, because of exactly what he said. But very close, because theoretically, it should. You know, should the dirty one, right? But now, this is why people make predictions. So they predict that this is going to happen. Will they be exactly right? Will they might be close to right? Yeah. We need predictions, y'all. Keep going. So, yeah. Yes. 
Now they ask how we do that. So how do we go about predicting that? It's rebound height by looking at the height. Yeah, by doing the same thing we did. Yeah, because if we know how far like the ball usually bounces from the ground, we can predict. Yeah, pattern. So since it's already a bunch of sevens, we're like, oh, it's gonna be so seventy-one. So basically, we can predict it by like looking at the ball's bounce patterns. Yeah. Our decimal was one hundred twenty-two point seven, and that was from one ninety. Okay. Yeah, it was close. Point so what do you think now? Is it in Are they close even other different types of different? So what do you think it is if the number is close, then your prediction is not right. But if it's way off, then you know it's not the right prediction. So what's the question? Read the question. If you were to use a small ball and drop it with any height, could you predict the rebound height? Can you? Yes. Because you have, if you have your number, if you already have data, then you can just keep continue with using that data. And so what data do you have? What's it called? Average. But what's it called? The average of what? Of our rebound ratio. Your rebound ratio. So if you have your rebound ratio from any drop, any height that I drop, you should be able to predict? Mm -hmm. Not even at any height. Who will height you? Between 200 and 100, would it work for sure? What if I dropped it at 1,000? Would it work? 1,000. No, it wouldn't. I don't know. I feel like it would work if you got the right number and got it up to 1,000. So, you guys, this is a whole thing we need to think about. This. Why do we take multiple representations of data? We were trying to get a price. Okay, oh. We're trying to get an average, so if you, it's basically asking us, what if we just average it all out? If we're mainly, if we focus on the average, what are different travels? We should be able to do that. Keep going. Answer those questions. You guys were about to report out. I need to see pictures from 29A. That's your report out. You need to be working on that. I'm giving you three minutes. That is what we're closing with today. I'm saying you don't want anything. You're pop. I'm I'm kind of well, I know that. For 21A, I mean 29A, we can just use the first height that we got, which is 1.1. Not 1.172. So we can predict that the first point is 172. 142. Well, but even if it goes this way, is it going to bounce back up again? You, you dropped the ball and it didn't come back up? So when you drop the ball, it comes back up? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I need to see that in your picture. And that looks just like you, too, Janelle. Let me see. Let me see yours. Oh, you know, that looks just like you. <laughs> Miss God. I'm so <laughs> Miss God. I can't remember what I got to do. I swear to God. I'm out of here. You guys, all right, listen up. It's about time to close. I want to see a couple people who hit 29A, so we're going to have two questions to report out. Question number one. 
is 29 or 28. Twenty-eight C. That's one of the questions. The other one is you can show your picture. Which team is going first? First, second, third, fourth. I'm waiting on fifth and sixth. Fifth, sixth. First, who's going? Come on. So I either want you to talk about, show me your picture and describe it, or talk to me about can you drop it at any height and predict. First has their hand up. Of course they want to go first. Let's go. But I like your enthusiasm. Okay. So for A twenty eight. A twenty eight. Oh, we have our picture too. I want to. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So for A twenty eight C, we said yes. We can. Wait, 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 wait. Somebody's talking while you're talking. I don't know who it is, because they're about to get punitive points. Okay, go for it, babies. So for 828, um, we did, um, for C, we did yes, we can predict it by looking at the um, ball bounce patterns. So, like if, by like using the past data that we've already gathered up, mm -hmm. using, you know, the averages and the stuff that we've recorded ourselves, we can see that it already has a pretty basic margin. So the average, really, the average. Yeah. So using that, we can tell that it's going to bounce in these certain areas. Um, and we did A29 if you want to see the artist. What you got? Let me see. I just want to see it. You know, I'm gonna blast it. Okay, I like that. Okay. Okay. So is this is this is the actual height? I didn't, nah. No, it ain't the actual. It's just being a real. Okay. Number two. Good job, you guys. Number two, team. Who's who's second? Okay. What you guys got? What you pick? We're picking twenty eight C. Okay. I still hear other people talking while my team is up. The question is, if you were to use the same ball to and drop it from any height, could you predict the three mile height? Can you? We chose the answer yes. Why? Because of what we're, during this, it's asking us to find out what is that ball average, ah, rebound ratio average. Okay. And if we're looking at that during trials, we mm -hmm. got our numbers, we have to average that out. Okay. So we just use that in the same scenario. So if I dropped it from a really high height, it would still have the same average? Yes. If you, if you, try, you dropped it three times mm -hmm. and you found out the closest ones and averaged them out, mm -hmm. you could, yes, you can find the pattern average. Okay, very nice. Group three, where you at? Nice. Okay, so uh, yes, we can predict the. Um, Which one are you doing? Uh, we are on. Um, Twenty-eight C or twenty-nine? Uh, twenty-eight C. Okay. Uh, yes, we could uh, predict the um, rebound height of the ball dropped from any height. Um, from two hundred centimeters, uh, we predicted it on the graph that we drew yesterday, um, and predicted heights for um, one forty-five for two hundred, um, one ten for. Uh, Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ethan, I'm watching you look at your, let me see your graph, because I charge this team to a little bit stronger point. Not that one, I'm looking at this one. So, I, everybody's graph, a lot of your graphs look like Ethan's. It's real hard to see, but this team drew this graph, and I need to know from you teams, do you think that the ball would bounce like this? Can I see? Yep. Uh, yes. What do you see is happening to the ball every time it comes up? It goes, it shifts um, to the right a little. But it does. It loses 
It loses what? Oh, Rebound. Friction. It gains friction, <laughs> but it loses the height, right? Yeah. And you guys know that. I, do I have to do a bounce a ball? What happens? Bounce a bounce a bounce a bounce a bounce. This, especially. this is what we're trying to get you guys to see. We'll finish this on Monday. I want the other two teams to report out, but I want you guys to keep that picture in mind. A lot of you already have that. Let, what you guys got, ladies? Hush. Hush. So, hush. <laughs> we don't think that we can predict that um the rebound the rebound height. Okay. Because if we drop it, drop the ball from any height, for example, 170, uh -huh. and predict that the rebound number was 140, and it ended up falling into a different number mm -hmm. and high speed, like it wouldn't be the same. So I don't think we can predict it. Okay. So we don't think we can predict yeah. it. That's team talk. Okay. Uh, and then 829. Is it, you didn't have to do both. Oh, you didn't? No, you didn't. Okay, so we're going to keep exploring that because, you guys, we have some other people that agree with the ladies over there, and we talked about it. I still hear people talking while my teams are reporting out. Where's my last team at? We got two more to go? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Come on, y'all. We got two minutes before the bell ring. All right, so I'm going to do 8-28 in uh, letter C. Now I'm about to um, you know, if I go to predict. I said yes to the question. You said yes? Are we team Our team, my, our team said yes because of, from using the data in the graph, mm -hmm. you know, until we had made from the test charge, you get three of them. Mm -hmm. And for the test jobs, I was like, I said, say for instance, I dropped it, instead of from 180, I dropped it for 190. And I dropped it for 190. It should at least probably, probably instead of being like 133, like the one of our test jobs, so it probably go to like probably 143, probably go about 10, probably like 10 more rebounds. Okay. Okay, we're gonna keep exploring that, you guys. Hey, last team, let's go. Two minutes, let's go. Just know that until you guys report out, everybody's saying, let's go. Oh. Buster. Good job, you guys. Okay. Let's put your stuff up. Bye. 